Do you want to make amazing video projects? Then you need to master the basics of visual storytelling to communicate your stories and ideas effectively. That's why you should watch this video series, where I will teach you everything you need to know. In this video, we will talk about camera angles, one of the most important elements of visual storytelling. But before we start, make sure you check out the previous video where we covered the camera movements. You can watch this series in any order. Just click on the link in the description to see the complete playlist. These are the six basic shots that depend on the camera angle. This means we are not looking at how big or small the frame is, but where the camera is placed. These six angles are part of the visual language that you can use for your shorts or any other visual project. Let's start with the first one, the eye level shot. This is when the camera is at the same level as the eyes of the person or thing you are filming. It's the most common and natural one because it's how we usually see things in real life, right? Unless you are very short or very tall, of course. It doesn't have much drama, but it's good for showing things as they are. How about we look at the next one? the high angle shot. This is when the camera is above the person or thing you are filming looking down. This shot can make them look weak, insecure, inferior, or scared. It's also a common way to show how an adult sees a child when they talk to them. If you want your character to look weak, this is a good shot to use. It will help you get your message across. The next shot is the opposite, the low angle shot. This is when the camera is below the eyes of the person or thing you are filming, looking up. This shot can make them look dominant, aggressive, powerful. It's often used in movies, for example, to show how powerful the villains are in some scenes. Watch some movies and see if you can spot this type of shots. You'll see what I mean. Let's move on to the next one, the overhead shot. This is when the camera is right above the person or thing you are filming, looking down. It's usually a wide shot, and the difference between this shot and the high angle one is that in this overhead shot, the camera is at a 90 degree angle, while in the high angle one is more like 45 degrees. This shot does not have much dramatic power, but rather, it is used as an aesthetic effect of style. Next up is the nadir shot. This is the opposite of the overhead shot. This is when the camera is below the ground looking up at the person or thing you are filming. It's a very rare plane, unlike the others, but it can be used for style or to create movement. For example, have you ever seen that shot of someone splashing water on their face in the sink and their face goes into the water? That's one of many examples. The next plane is the Dutch angle. This is when the camera is tilted by about 45 degrees. It's like everything is leaning to one side of the screen. The horizon line is totally diagonal. You can tilt the camera to either side of the screen. This plane can show that something is wrong or that the person or thing you are filming is confused or stressed. Watch some movies and see how they use it when the main character is in trouble or doesn't know what to do. You can also use it to make your shot more dynamic and interesting. Let me tell you about some other camera angles that you might not know. For example, the cowboy shot or hip level shot. This is when you put your camera around the waist of the person or thing you are filming. This angle is good for situations where, for example, one person is sitting and the other is standing. It's also good for showing action near the hip, like when someone puts their hand in their pocket or pulls out a gun. This angle is also called a cowboy shot because they used it a lot in western movies. They showed the cowboys getting ready to shoot each other from far away. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and it also ensures that you won't miss any of the new videos. Knee level shot. This is when your camera is at the knee of the person or thing you are filming. If you use it with a low angle, it can make them look more powerful. The knee level shot is not as low as a ground level shot, but it shows the same idea, and they are great for showing people walking. Next up is the ground level shot. This is when your camera is on the ground with the person or thing you are filming. This angle can be used when a character walks and you don't want to reveal their face as in many suspense movies. It also allows the audience to form impressions of the character based on their actions or their costume. For example, in Hitchcock's movie, Strangers on a Train, where you can see the differences between the two characters at the beginning of the movie without even seeing their faces or having more context, but you can get an idea of who they are. 
shoulder level shot. This is when your camera is at the same height as the shoulders of the person or thing you are filming, and they are actually more common than eye level shots, which can make people look shorter than they really are. Next up is the aerial shot. This is when you film from very high up, like from a helicopter or a drone, and you show a big view of the place. For example, you can use it to show the city where your story happens. Drones have made it easier for filmmakers to use aerial shots. Before, it was very expensive to use helicopters or stock footage, but now you can use drones for almost any project and they are much cheaper. Don't you love drones? You know, understanding camera angles is crucial for creating awesome videos. And hey, don't forget to check out what I'll be teaching you in the video on your screen. It's gonna be worth it. So watch that video next. Catch you there. I'm Reynaldo Cantu, and I'll see you in the next Rebel Filmmakers video.